Welcome to Meet Card Maniacs, I'm Jay. And I'm John. And today we're talking about how Daniel Bryan will debut in AEW. Yep. According to all of the dirt sheets, like this is a done deal, it's signed, it's happening. How does he debut? When he debuts, it is going to be after All Out. I think they are saving Brian for the first Dynamite after the pay-per-view. I think it's gonna be at Arthur Ashe Stadium. So because Punk's gonna get a massive pop over there, Arthur Ashe Stadium, like their big New York show, imagine the stadium with the Yes Chant. It's gonna be insane. And if we assume that Punk will come out and be around right at like All Out weekend, the next Wednesday is going to be all about CM Punk. I can't see Daniel Bryan coming out then. You know, you can let it breathe for a couple weeks. Or you can have that Rock Hogan moment. How do you make a loud crowd louder? You have Daniel Bryan and CM Punk together in the ring. Everybody would lose their mind. I'm certainly interested in it. For a long time, we thought Daniel Bryan didn't even have a career left. I was almost brought to tears when he announced that well, I'm, I'm injured, guys. Like, I can't do this. I was watching like Total Divas and Total Bellas, and I was like, what? And then when he came back, it's like, oh my God, what a relief. And he's been going, and he's still good as he's ever been. And I love it. He's gonna be such an asset for AEW, but I don't know where he fits. Like, is that gonna be CM Punk's first? Views. Like CM Punk goes after Ego. Daniel Bryan comes in and is like, nah, it's my time. Yeah. And then we have Daniel Bryan versus CM Punk. It could start that way. I mean, Bryan himself has always said he likes putting younger talent over and working with younger talent. They dropped the ball with Chad Gable when he was still employed in WWE. So when you look at who is on the roster and what kind of wrestlers there are, you have to find that one person that Daniel Bryan could work with. Can we get them all sharpened up and stick them with Ricky Starks? AEW is all about factions. What faction do you think Brian Danielson would fit into? I could see him joining forces with Pac. I think together with their styles, they would form a great faction. I don't know what the Lucha Bros are gonna do. I feel like they're gonna turn on Pac and join Andrade. Yeah, I think so too. I don't know if we call him Pac or Pac. Everyone else calls him Pac. Sometimes we call him Pac. The nature of growing up with 90s hip hop, you know? <laughs> so I could see him trying to form a faction with him and like a really young up and comer. So if we were gonna think of young up and comers that are signed, we have Lee Johnson who could really use some work. He's a great talent, but they, they throw him into all of these these random matches for no reason. Like they're trying to push him. He's got a match on for the TNT title just out of nowhere. He needs to get like an established character. He doesn't have that yet. The most character that he had was when he was with MJF's. It was like part of his campaign. I feel like Lee Johnson is too forgettable right now that he needs something else. It's not part of the Nightmare family. And if he were to get with Brian Danielson, it would give him the clout that AEW is trying to get Lee Johnson to have. I don't think Daniel Bryan is faction bound. And I know exactly where his feud needs to start off. He is going after MJF. As much as a heel MJF is, he is a wrestling fan and he knows his wrestling. So he would do a fantastic job, exactly what he's doing with Jericho right now. He could basically just belittle Daniel Bryan and Bryan could make him look like a star. But I think it would have to happen after the five labors. MJF is winning that feud, Bryan, is coming out and MJF's like, listen, I already got rid of one guy. Now I'm coming after you. Oh, that is it. That sounds great because MJF is in such a great position to just continue belittling people based on their history. And he's one of the few characters in AEW that breaks the fourth wall and acknowledges it. Like obviously other people, they mention certain things about WWE, but they don't straight up just call out, hey, you did this. You did that, especially if you see him on Twitter. MJF and him, he is the type of person when you yell at him, he just takes it and then he doesn't say anything. He just fights. I'm gonna run at you and throw a knee in your face. Yeah, he's gonna give you those yes kicks. <laughs> like, it's gonna be great. And like, think of like moments in the match where like if MJF has him like on the ground and he just starts doing the kicks, doing like the whole no, no, like that type of thing. Cause it takes it back almost to, like I'm not saying MJF and The Miz are on the same page, but when you look at what The Miz and Brian did together, you can recreate that, but make it 
better with MJF. And I hate saying that because I actually do like The Miz and the work he does as a heel. MJF is basically a younger version who could heat up the room. I'm really down with that. And I'm pretty down with basically anything he does, even if it's one-off feuds until that eventual feud happens, I'm good. So those are our thoughts. What do you guys think? Let us know in the comments and share other things that you think that Brian Danielson can do when he debuts in AEW. If he does, who fucking knows? We aren't Meltzer. He's the one reporting all of this and everyone's just building off of that. I actually have no idea if he's even going to. Maybe he goes back to ROH. Let us know your thoughts in the comments. Like this video and if this is your first time here, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Stay up to date with everything here on Midcard Maniacs.